Hi folks, it's Seneca again and so here's how I made this walk cycle animation in grease pencil using mostly hand drawn elements with a little bit of puppeting. Uh, so I started off with this character design with some elements uh, that's like the loose pants, the tail added for overlapping action. Uh, then I drew a single contact pose for the walk cycle, um, also breaking the character down into some simple shapes to make it easier to animate. I've added these circles to keep track of the important joints that I will have to maneuver. To start off, I'm pulling my reference image into Blender as a plane, and I'm starting off by making some reference lines um, so that I know at what height certain elements of the character should be. I then split the character into separate elements that I'm going to animate separately on different layers. The head and the torso are on one layer, and each leg and arm has its own layer as well. And I'm going to do each in a different color so I can really keep track of which is which. This is going to be a 25 frame walk cycle, so I want to make sure it loops back to this pose, so I'm duplicating this frame over to the end. Uh, this pose is called a contact pose because both feet are in contact with the ground. At 13 frames, which is somewhat in the middle, I'm adding the other contact pose. So that's pretty much the same except the legs and the arms are reversed. So I'm using onion skins to make sure I'm keeping the proportions consistent. Cool, I now have both contact poses pretty much done. Uh, now it's time to add the passing positions between the two. So it's called a pass because one leg passes behind the other here. So there's two passing positions. The, the front leg passing in front of the back leg and the back leg passing behind the front leg. Um, I'm going to work on both simultaneously so that I keep them consistent with each other and keep track of the proportions. I'm also going to draw in the arm using the onion skin as a reference. And now you pretty much have the bare bones of like a decent walk cycle. The next step is to fill in some more breakdowns. So what I'm working on next is called a down position. So I'm puppeting the torso down a little bit for that. This is where the front leg bends and takes the weight. So the whole figure moves down a little bit. I'm making the layer with the other leg invisible so that I can focus on the one that I'm drawing right now. And there we go. Again, onion skins are really helpful here. And I'm repeating the same process for the second half of the walk cycle. Right, so that looks a little bit smoother. Next, we have to add the up poses. So here the torso needs to be puppeted a bit higher than it is on the contact poses. And here one leg is pushing off the ground and the other is on its way back down. I'm also adding the left or back arm, swinging pretty much opposite to the front one. And that's our walk cycle. And we only have to draw pretty much eight frames for this. You can add more frames in between to smoothen it out if you want it really smooth. I'm now adding um, some overlapping action on the tail. And I'm making sure that the base of the tail stays at the waist as the torso moves up and down. I'm also adding the pants and adding a small reference for the hair bobbing up and down as the character walks as well. And throwing on some line art and filling it in. So the final line art and fills are also split into different layers so that I can puppet and animate different parts efficiently. Um, this project ended up having a lot of layers. I'm adding um, the line art for all the elements on their own separate layers and filling them in. And I used the single hair strand that I drew from before uh, as a reference for how the rest of the hair moves. And the character has striped pants so I had to go in and draw them on in each frame to make sure that the lines of the stripes match up with how the fabric is stretching. I also added some extra in-betweens on the tail animation to make it a little smoother. And here's what, here's what that ended up looking like. And finally I added some shadows 
uh, with masks and the multiply blending mode. And here's my finished walk animation. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and check out our other videos if you want to learn more about Blender and watch as we figure it out for ourselves. Also join our Discord if you want to ask us anything or hang out with other artists and creators. See you next time.